no, to get me wrong, I think advisors for something so sensitive, they should be very, very, mm. very well equipped and very, you know, very well trained. How do you think? I mean, do you want to say anything? Yeah, I just want to say something. The program was um, framed as a personal journey uh, for somebody to un unravel the events of 1984. Now, yeah. that. You, you, if you want to unravel 1984, you can't do it in one hour. Secondly, yep, I agree. it's so sensitive that you need to know what you're talking about. Mm. And if there's any points or uh, literature or images put forward, they need yep. to be done in a non-biased way. Okay? Sure. Now, in my opinion, Sanjay Nersingji, he was already sabotaged before the program came on. I'll tell you why. Because if you read all the advertisements before yep. the show even came on, it was yep. about the militant Sant Janel Singh. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what does militant mean, guys? What, what does militant yep. mean? Um, yep. Just correcting that, he's saying. Yeah. She, she didn't, Hello. Um, you know, um, that sort of talk itself, um, you know, the program, didn't actually refer to Sant Janel Singh. It's more... Lady Sonia Adil, uh, uh, if it was a personal documentary or whatever, she should have kept it personally. You don't put it on BBC, you know. Sorry, digger there. Like the, the gentleman on the in the red jacket, I, I quite agree with him. What he said is, you know, she didn't do a, you know, her homework properly. He's pivotal to why Sikhs actually woke up and started seeing themselves as as political people. I think you're another call. Why could you keep up with me? Why could you keep up with me? Hello. The call's got dropped there. Yeah, but um, continue. Uh, so, so what, what happens is when you defame Santaji's character, you defame I've got, I've got a question for, for the panel as well. Um, how much force does it require to get one man? <laughs> the, the, it's a serious tanks, question. It, you need tanks. Um, there, there was up to 150,000 soldiers mm. involved I guess in, this in, in, in this operation uh, of supposed terrorists. Now, to get one man and to be a woman. She done enough for us to start this thing. Hang on, where is the justice after 25 years? Where is the Sikh lobby? What the good Dwaras are doing? It's not Sonia Diol, that's her individual, what she has actually... Bullshit. Why are we debating this today? Because she forced us to debate. Bullshit. So, what my meant was, if, if I'm, I'm not wrong, because whatever happened to us, it's, it's not even a 5% what she has shown. How do you think? What's your view on that? Um, my view is that I think we can't knock her. There are some really good positive things that she's done because she has made people aware of 1984. That's right. And she's brought it back. However, whether it's Sonia, whether it's the BBC, I don't know. I'm not here to criticise. The way the programme was constructed was, was done in a very negative way. For example, the, if you're talking about... Uh, a topic like this, so sensitive, mm -hmm. to pick people with the same perspectives, mm -hmm. i.e. General Bra, mm -hmm. uh, the BBC reporter, Mark who, by the way, mentioned that, oh, he was so scared in it, but that he thought he was going to chop his neck off. Now, I went into work today, and I told all the English people, there's a, a documentary coming on, watch it. I text everyone. I, I, into work, I, went, into I, work, I went into work today, and right. you know what they said to me, and this is proof, from a neutral perspective of British public and what they thought the documentary. That, uh, that uh, Bin Nawala guy, he was a right extremist. Mm. He was a terrorist. I thought the Golden Temple was peaceful. There's guns everywhere. There's machine guns. Now, that is selective clips being showed. There's so many other clips that could have been showed. It's bad selection of clips. I think they wanted then, uh, people to say that, what he said. The Gordy said that worked to him. Mm. I think that was the aim. They wanted people to say, you know what, he was bad, he took guns in there. Mm. I think that's what they wanted. I, I, mean, I was also asked, do you carry a knife as well? I was asked, mm -hmm. to, and to show Michael Barnes today, mm -hmm. do you carry a knife as well? So I think, you know, it, it's common sense yes, not to show certain things. Mm -hmm. and, and also, the, the images that were displayed were of, you know, just general pictures. What about the bloodstains all over the Parkanama? What about all the people that have been killed? You know, the, the, the images w were done in a way where San Janelle you just looked like a terrorist. A terrorist. I'm sorry, and, 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 that's yeah. how it happened. Honest, it seems every time they showed a picture of him, it'd be him with his eyes all vexed, yeah. or, or, and this evil dark music would come on. Mm. Oh, and to that is deliberate. And it made it that seem was deliberately done. Can I mention something yeah. as well? Two really, really important <coughs> things to mention was um, this, this attack was predetermined. Um, also, there was a, a, minimum, a minimum of 35 over Godore bombed on the same day 
35 Godre. Now, if it was about San Janel Singh Ji, why did they bomb 35 Godre in Punjab? Secondly, and they burnt the library as well. I think of mm, our yeah. ancient scriptures. The, the, the Guru Granth Sahib. That, was, that was, wasn't covered yesterday. Okay. Yeah, because yes, they didn't want people to understand. Well, from from the I, I just want to say something really important as well. Um, during the actual um, operation, gas masks were used. Um, there's photographic evidence of this all over the internet, in the newspapers. It's illegal to use. You have to get um, permission of the UN. It's illegal to use chemicals, okay, and to wear gas masks without permission. Now, they use gas masks. In her side. This man, what was he about? And, mm -hmm. you know, was that a true portrayal of what had That's happened? Really important um, to say. So I think more so it's raised a lot more questions, maybe from not all the negative, but some of the positive as well, where we can give our stance on things. Let me say something. Hello. 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 Can, can, can I just say, say something really important? It's a really good point what Banji just brought up. Okay, can I just quickly say something before we get another call? Um, yesterday uh, on the program, I liked the interview between Sonia and General Bra. I think I like because it. because she did try and pin him mm -hmm. in a corner. And there's something really important before another call has come through. I want to say this because it's important. Yeah, so don't cut me off. Basically, regarding that situation, someone called General S. K. Sinner which I've taken from the spokesman, which is a paper in 1984. He was part of the whole operation, and this is something that he has said, okay? He has said that they had planned Operation Blue Star 18 months prior to the actual event. This is not a Sikh, this is a Hindu who was involved in the actual army. Now, General Bra lied and said we had to act um, straight away, mm. we had to do it because X, Y, Z was happening. They planned this 18 Can months Can I ask you a question, please? Yes. Um, regarding th this, your, your view, obviously you're entitled to, to your view, everyone's entitled to their view. If you want to think that about Santiji, that's fair enough, we can't help that. I've got a question for you. You know Amnesty International? Yes. They made six attempts to investigate 1984. Yes. And they will refuse, the only country in the world that has ever refused Amnesty International to investigate something six times by the Indian government. Now, what's your view of the Indian government? I think uh, what happened on that day, as I said, you know, I, I was there, I saw it all. Um, there was, and I worked in a refugee camp after uh, the, the riot finished, and I heard all the horror stories. So, what do you think, I mean, <coughs> that you've heard lots of people calling in, obviously. Yeah. Very negative. So, very negative. I, I think mean, I haven't heard very. But if you call it saying anything but positive about the program, I mean, about do the think? documentary. I think in general consensus mm -hmm. is is shared amongst the Sikh community as it was a negative program, and I think you know there were positives in it. Don't get me wrong, there were positives. But if you're going to make a program about uh, an issue which is so sensitive, you need to make it bang on. You need to get your research done, and you need to do it in a way that's not going to offend people. Fair enough, the BBC have got lots of viewing just today, loads of ratings, you might get promotion, but you know what, there's a lot of Sikhs that feel hurt, and at the end of the day, if something like this is going to be constructed in the future, it needs to be done in a more That's constructive right. manner. He's just hit the nail on the head, because when the programme finished, it ended on, oh, there's no friction here, there's nothing wrong with, yeah. oh, the Sikhs are not being oppressed here, let's, ce let, let, yeah. let's celebrate Diwali, mm -hmm. and let's do Bangla, and he's mm -hmm. hit the nail on the head, because that's how the program ended, to show there's no friction, Sikhs are not being oppressed, everything's you know, how jolly. 